everyone, Ali here. Well, I caved in and got a go press and foil machine yesterday, and I got it from Spotlight. And it was 25% off with my $40 coupon. So I got it for about $65, uh, and it's normally about $139 uh, at Spotlight. So I got a real bargain, and uh, yeah, like I said, I've caved, but I'm so glad that I've got it. And I ended up getting it for $99.99. So it was $139.99. Um, with $40 off so I thought I would get one. Um, I have tried um, different processes but it just does not work for me. Um, I've tried gluing, I've tried embossing, embossing is probably the best one. Um, I've tried the um, laser jet printer but I don't have a laser jet printer so I actually printed something off um, on someone's laser printer and uh, it's only a photocopy so I can't put cardstock or uh, anything in it. Um, the laser printers as well I've priced them up and they are about $59. Uh, the tone is in there but it only does about 400 sheets. To buy a new toner it's $70. So um, I thought you know what that's $120. This is $100. Uh, I can use my dies and my embossing folders in this as well. So um, I made the decision to buy one. Now I haven't opened it, so I am going to open it and show you what's in the box. Okay, so. Okay. So we've got, um, okay, so there's information that I can get offline, so that'll be handy, so I'll keep that. Uh, okay, it comes with a 12-month warranty, that's good. So it tells me um, the warranty period, so that's great, okay, I'll keep that. Most important thing is the instruction book, okay, so... Uh, just telling me what's in the in the box as well so there's a base with connected power cord hot plate heating platform silicon um, surface protector mat a pick and lift three-in-one magic tool heat activated foil sampler pack and an instruction book so I've got the instruction book okay so that's the silicon surface protector mat okay So that's what um, I'm guessing you put your hot uh, dyes onto. Okay, um, so foil sampler pack. So I've got a gold and a silver one there. Sorry for the crinkly noise. I don't know how much is on it, but I've got some Go Press foil as well. So, okay. Um, so that's the pick and lift. Sorry about the crinkly bits. Just quickly get that out. Okay, so okay, so it comes with a um, so that's magnetic, so to get your dies off the hot plate. So that's good. Uh, this comes with three dies or three, what do they call them? Um, what do they call them? They call them hot foil stamps. Okay, so so it comes with a happy birthday, a leaf, and a geometrical design. So that'll be good. Just, uh, so I don't know how these compare to the dies as such. Oops. So they're fairly thick uh, and 
they're not sharp around the edges they're um, yeah they're safe to use so they're not sharp as such okay. so that's good and then this is the machine so I'll just take it out of the box So I might keep this and store it in the box. Um, it may this may be something that I will not um, keep out all the time. So okay, so it's protected. Okay, now this comes out. Okay, so it's also the this is pretty heavy as well. So you can see where it actually connects into this here. So that will connect in down there when it's plugged in. So I haven't got it plugged in yet. Okay, so and it pushes in. So that's nice. Okay, so this is like a bit of a rubber mat here. Okay, where you put your dies and that so I might actually just make sure that all this plastic stuff on the back of the die stamp is off so I might actually give it a wash before I actually put it on okay so um, I'll be right back I'm just going to just wash um, this sticky stuff off first now I have just um, cleaned off one of the background, um, all that sticky stuff because I don't want it sticking on this here. So and I, it is a little bit hard. So I have actually um, used some um, eucalyptus oil. So as you can see, it's it's a bit cleaner now compared to that there so that's what I'm trying to take off before I actually use it okay so I've got the three um, all cleaned off so there's nothing on the back there and I just washed them with a little bit of soapy water and just dried them off with a sponge so they're all clean now so because this is going to be hot so I didn't want to not clean that sticky stuff off and for it to damage this plate here now the two rolls here are just got a little bit of tape uh, down on them so I'm just going to I haven't turn the machine on yet but I just want to take my time with this okay so that's the silver and the gold's the same so I'll go in the opposite direction here so I don't tear the foil just like that okay and as you can see it's gold on one side and then like a foil tin foil color on the other side as well so as I mentioned um, I'm not sure how much foil is on these rolls but they are just a sampler pack okay so I've got the instructions next to me as well because I want to read those as we go so it does come with a cord and this is an Aussie cord okay so it's our uh, what our cords look like down here um, now the cord looks like it's probably about a 1.3 meter cord so I'm lucky I've got um, power adapters at the back here so I'll just turn that on okay little red light comes on there okay um, so a red light will uh, come on when plugged in your heating platform connected to your base plate uh, when you press the button the, on the base unit the red light will commence to flash so there's a little light uh, a little like um, on off switch just here 
Okay, so I'm just going to press that and it's starting to flash. Okay, uh, this light will then turn green once it reaches working temperature. Uh, this will take approximately five to six minutes. So um, that's handy to know as well. So if you want to do something straight away, just remember you'll need to do it um, five to six minutes before you want to do it. Um, the machine will automatically switch off after the machine is unused for over 25 minutes. So that's a good thing. So a bit of a safety feature there. Um, the heating platform will maintain a maximum temperature of approximately 90 degrees Celsius or in Fahrenheit that's 194. Okay. Uh, and it has an automatic built-in thermostat. So I can start to feel it getting warm. Okay. Um, so what I might do, I might just stop there. And once it's heated up, then we'll come back. Okay, so I'm back. The green light has come on. So it does have um, a couple of cautions. So um, it does say... Uh, do not use the heat plate for die cutting okay and over here it says caution heat produced is over 90 degrees Celsius read all instructions before use so which I've done okay so I see that that's gone off it's flashing again okay there you go so it's green so I am going to I'm going to do a happy birthday one here, so we'll just stick that down. I'm going to do some silver card stock. Now, so I need to put that down, and then I need to put that on top. We'll close the plate. Okay, okay, close the um, heating platform, clear protector lid, remove it from the base unit and place it into the opening of your machine. Okay, so we'll just remove that. Okay, so we wind this through as normal. You only need a very slight amount of pressure. If you have too much pressure, it will damage your heating platform. Okay, so I'm just going to take this to my Sizzix Big Shot. Okay, so I've just run that through. I'm not sure if um, I had enough pressure or not. So let's just lift this. And I haven't had any, put any shims in there. Okay, uh, you will now have the chosen impression plate foiled and debossed onto your cardstock or desired item. Remove the foil from the surface if the desired of the desired material and your foil letterpress image is now complete. Okay, so, oh, do you know what I've done? Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. <laughs> so, I'll just take that off and I'm just going to pop this on my mat here okay because that is hot okay so I'm just going to just move that out of the way now I'm sorry that is so amazing that's my first ever one and I'm sold <laughs> okay that's not Okay, so in my opinion, I think the Go Press and Foil machine has got its advantages and just a couple of disadvantages. So, um, it's a beautiful foiling with this. Okay, so absolutely great. I am 100% sold on it. Um, so, as you can see... So my review on the Go Press machine, look, I am totally in love with this. Um, and as you can see, the it is a beautiful design. 
okay so I'm 100% in love with it however I have only got three of these stamp um, metal stamps here so I would need to buy some more so that's a, a downside but I'm going to try and use uh, a lot of my metal die cutting um, dies to use so um, you know I would you know need to get some more of those I have got some more on order that I have ordered uh, I think I've ordered four sentiments uh, online so I'm looking forward to getting those overall look it's great I love it it's money well spent okay other things that I can do uh, to expand is with not using the go press is actually using um, double-sided tape and the dot adhesive on here um, just like I did in my last video here before I bought the go press so these here are the ones that um, I did before I purchased the go press and look I'm really happy with that so that's a, a metal die for paper cutting so I've got you know so that um, I'm happy with that the stamping and embossing powder mm, I'm not so happy with that um, I would still use my silver and gold embossing powders um, to do that type of thing overall I'm happy uh, money well spent um, I will be doing a tutorial on the go press using embossing folders and also I'm going to do one on using just metal dies so those two videos will be coming up in the near future so a little bit of a mini series that's happening here with these so I hope you've enjoyed that look out for these uh, next two videos that will be coming out in the near future um, if you have liked uh, what you've seen on my review of the go press uh, machine please give me the thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell and until next time everybody happy crafting see ya